Shalom, Raina Corrins, it's Ellie here. So, a lot of us have been talking about shadow work. A lot. Shadow work? What's about shadow work? I'm finna talk about shadow work. What's about it? I'm, I'm doing shadow work. What's about shadow work? What's about it? I'm, I'm finna explain shadow work if you'll give me a minute. Can I explain? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have a lot of i'm not gonna say a lot of shadow work to do i really don't the thing is the shadow work that i do have left it does go in depth as what why the angry face <laughs> why the angry hold on what happened hello peace everybody entering the chat um uh, get get off me bro so mad at this is i know loyal game bando hey ellie hey um did you change your ig i thought you had an underscore in your name but anyway He's Byron. Um, just watch one of us get arrested on live. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Fixing yourself a shadow work. Well, here's the thing. We're never completely fixed, okay? And that's the thing about shadow work. It's about looking at your flaws, knowing that you have flaws. Why are you laughing? Bro, every time. I, he wasn't, ouch. He wasn't doing this, bro. He was not doing He was minding his own business. <laughs> what is so funny? MJ! Okay. So, I don't know what's happening to you, bro. So, you know, um, I, I will share some things about my personal life here. Some of you guys know, like, certain things about me, and so it was like, okay. But a lot of you, I just reached 2,000 followers the other day. And that's a lot for me. It took me a long time to reach 1,000 followers. So getting 1,000 followers within a, a couple of weeks, you know, that's that's a lot. Accepting your faults? Uh, in a way, it's more, I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna explain. I'm going to go into depth about my personal shadow work, though. Uh, he said, hey, I'm new to all this. What is shadow work? I'm already starting to meditate. I want to astral project, but I'm scared. Stop, Zay. Oh, I'm going to pin you. <laughs> so basically, shadow work is going back into basically, it, it could be old memories or old feelings or old experiences that you had. Get, move. You just want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> Did you plug in the pink phone? Yeah. Okay, go get it. Turn it on so you can go take pictures. Uh, and so, yeah, I knew you had another account. And so you're going... Uh, into certain dark places in your past right and you are looking at it from a different perspective and that's why it's called your shadow work because you have yourself right you see yourself in the mirror it's not called mirror work mirror work it's called shadow work so you look down at your shadow and that is the light is on you but there, the light can never be on the shadow so you have to shed light on your shadow okay so huh it's dying well, bro, okay then, just go do something else. Y'all, look, 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 look at this. Somebody look at this. Dude made a whole fort on his crib, right? He was minding his own business. Now he want to bother me. This guy, this guy here. And so, um, for my own personal shadow work, right? Shadow is like talking about your problems and fixing it. Yeah, you can, you can, you can talk. I will, I will say this. Some people who are counselors and therapists, they may not help you, but it is good to at least get it out there. So they can be utilized for that purpose, right? It may not be, you know, they give you advice. Just you venting can be a form of shadow work. And so, yeah, self-work. And so when you go into shadow work, right, you um, not only look at you know the different things like it's not about putting yourself in a victim mentality it's not about being like you know oh this person did this to me and i don't like them oh blah 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 it's not even about that it's about why did this person do that why did they do that you know i would like to know Rashad live <sighs> I don't know. Is it is it educational or is it like, you know, is he being Lansing, uh, Lansing Ten Armstrong again? I'm saying, is he Lansing Ten Armstrong or is it like a lecture? Because if it's like 
him trolling at the store again. I'm, I'm gonna just. Well, I'm saying like, okay, let me know which one it is, cause I'll end the live. Uh, if it's a, he said groupie. <laughs> uh, but it, I, I know he was Lansing to Armstrong earlier, so I'm like, look, if he just trolling, I'm not even, you know, you can let me know. You can come, he in the car chilling. Okay, I'll finish this video. I'm not gonna be on here too long, but um. And for myself personally, I've been through a lot of things in life. My most, re <laughs> I'm gonna pin you too. If <laughs> you, you you ain't getting skipped, bro. <laughs> and so, I've had a few things happen in my life. Most recently, you know, uh, I am going through a divorce right now. Uh, my ex husband has left my life romantically and has started his own other thing with somebody else. And so. You know, I had to deal with that because it's not only just like, oh, no, this toxic relationship happened and he left me. Well, I'm still in the middle of a divorce and he has another child on the way. So it was like when that happened, you know, it was kind of like, oh, well, it was kind of like confirmation that I started doing the right thing because I started to separate myself and do shadow work um, last year. Or real, either last year or before last year. Really, a lot of things happened in 2019. I had a mental breakdown in 2019. And so, uh, I ended up going to... Bro, listen. I ended up going to the psych ward. My mama tried to call the police on me. I actually went to jail. But I went to jail because I had some traffic stuff going on. I didn't, like, commit a crime. But... I spent I spent the night in jail. It was lit though, because I was talking to these girls about spirituality and stuff. And then the police officers, bro, the police officers were talking to us about how corrupt the system is. The police officers were talking to us about corruption in the system. I was like, hell no, nah, bro. Um. Oh. Okay. And so, you know, and uh, I went to jail. My family had a family reunion that weekend, like the next day i think and so it was like worse i was like oh no am i going to be out before the family reunion so i went i was able to go in the family reunion i looked like a crazy person because like i i didn't have all my clothes no one was really like trying to help me and do the things that i was asking them to do like i would be like hey can you do this for me and they'll like do something else and then it's like then i ended up not being prepared properly don't join rashad shit he ain't doing shit and his shit still froze <laughs> Bro, he said Lansington Armstrong and IG said, hell no, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> IG was fucking with it. But anyway. And so, um, my yo, let me tell y'all about my uh my aunties, right? They they uh saw I was like struggling, but no one knew why I was struggling. They were just like, oh my gosh, she crazy. So then they were like, let me pray for you. I was like, okay. I was cool with it at first, because like, you know, usually like she was really nice to me and so i wasn't gonna trip about it so she started praying i don't remember exactly the words she was saying but then she started like getting into some shit i was like hold on so then i tried to get up and because like she had her hands on me with this other lady and then i tried to get up and they move from the light stop it and then they wouldn't let me go they were like pinning me down i was like what <laughs> y'all are pinning me down right now like why won't y'all let me leave so then I, we were in the bathroom uh, Cause we're at, we're all at the park, and so uh, at the picnic, we can't even use that word no more, y'all. Y'all know that word is racist. We can't say the word picnic anyway. We're at the park, at the uh, lunch, and uh, then somebody opened up the bathroom door, so I screamed help, and then they let me go. I was like, I can't believe that just happened, bro. Okay. I told him it keep freezing because the ancestors said if it ain't a download, then get off live. Not the 90th or cheap. I'm finna get you too, bro. You ain't finna, you ain't finna slide. You ain't finna slide. Okay. And so, um, yeah, that happened. And then so when we got back home to Memphis, right? Then <laughs> my mom was like we, we gotta take her to the psych ward tonight like she wouldn't let me go to sleep she wouldn't let me go home she was like we gotta take her to the psych ward tonight so she made my dad like drive us to the psych ward and we're talking to the lady at the door and we're like yeah i don't want to come here but my mom's making me come because she is 
upset or worried or something. And they were like, well, okay. And so I stayed there for a few hours. There's this actually crazy lady in there. And like, she had got wild. Like, bro, bro. I think she didn't take off her clothes, but she started like going ham basically. They took me to like do my evaluation or whatever. I came back, she was pissed. And then she pointed at me. She was like, You get it, you understand. And I was like, Yeah, I know. I know. But then they took her away. And then like there's this other girl, right? And then she came in here, she looked normal. And then she was like, excuse me, y'all, I got to piss or I got to pee or she got to shit or something. And then she started to like, she took down her underwear and started to like, uh, use the bathroom in the corner. We were like, yo, there's a whole bathroom in here. Like, go over there. She was like, oh, and then she went to the bathroom. <laughs> and then like, I was talking to this other lady in there, right? She was going through similar to what I was going through. She wasn't even crazy. It's just these dudes be toxic as hell. She was telling me about her uh, her husband and stuff. And he was being hella toxic. I was just listening like, uh-huh. Like, dang, we all in toxic relationships. Okay. Certain parts of Cali are, going manual, are undergoing manual shutdown of parts of the power grid. Hey, NJ, stop. <laughs> Yeah, I know, bro. I know. And then I saw um a situation that happened. It was like they were supposed to be picking up people, but something happened with the car. And the driver, he was on bullshit because he was like laughing about it. I'm like, yo, you work at a psych ward and you need to go pick up people and you think it's funny that their transportation is down? Like, I'm going to need to see more effort, bro. Then they had on the news in the room, too. They had on the news. I forgot what the news station was and what was going on, but it was like some other crazy stuff going on. It was something else. So that was my night in the psych ward. Um, and so after spending time in jail, after spending time at the psych ward, I was like, you know what? Something's not right. <laughs> like, like something's off. Something is off about everything here. Cause like, I'm fine. The people at the psych ward were like, we don't know why you're here. I was like, I don't know either. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be here. Like, my mom was mad at me. So. And so I left the psych ward. And then I got back home. And then my mom got pissed. And then she called the police on me. And she was like, next time they get you, they're going to keep you this time. I was like, damn, mom, you savage. Like, what I do? <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> like, it's really not funny. But, the like, bro, telling this as a story <laughs> Yo, like it makes it makes no sense, bro. So I called my dad. I was like, "Hey, dad, mom called the police on me." He was like, "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, dad, I'm going down the street, so I won't be at the house when they get there." So then the police got there. I was with my dad, and, and he kept, he picked me up from uh, down the street, and then we explained to them what happened, and they were like, "Yeah, ma'am, we we can't take her. Like she didn't do anything." <laughs> Like, bro, <laughs> telling this as a story, I'm like, yo, I'm tripping, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, I want to go live. It's a blessing from Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh. To come to Jesus. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ gave me a download to tell y'all to repent and come to Jesus. Oh, my gosh. They feel it, the Holy Ghost. Oh, my gosh. Y'all so bells, bro. And so, yeah. Oh, I forgot to send this to the group chat. Okay. And so, um, yeah. That all happened in 2019. And so, um, after all that happened, it was like a lot of, uh, confusing energy. Because it's like, you know, when you live with people and they do things like that, you just have to kind of be like, okay. I can't say things to you. I can't say things to you and I can't do things around you. So how am I going to move after this point? Most importantly, why did you do that? Because I still don't know why my mom called the police on me that day. Because like it was some stuff going on. And she got close to me. And so like I grabbed her arm and like pushed her away because I didn't want her to like end up hitting me. And so I guess she took that as, like, I got violent with her or something. I don't even think that's what she told the police. I don't know what she told them. And so, um, it was like, okay, after that point, 
everything's just weird. It was really quiet. And at that point, my ex had started like traveling back and forth uh, to different to Memphis and another city in Tennessee. And so that was basically around the time that he started, quote unquote, forming his relationship, his new relationship. And it was like, okay, well, I'm in this alone. No one cares. No one, no one cares. And I'm telling y'all, that was like in a two week span. That was in a two week time span. Yeah, that was in a two week time span. Like, it was a lot that happened. And so, you know, that wasn't every single thing. But those are the things that made me feel like a victim at the moment. And it's like, okay, I can understand people's concern. Like, my auntie and them, I wasn't tripping about it. Because I'm like, I, I do look like a crazy person right now. So, like, I get it. But holding me down, that was where I was weirded out. I was like, okay. That, that was strange. That was a weird one. That was weird. But also, um, dealing with the fact that, you know, people wanted me locked up and put away. I'm like, hold on. Dude kept leaving town, and I was, I was taking care of the baby by myself. So, I leave for a day, and y'all are freaking out saying, don't abandon my child. Like, hold on. Hold on, because, like, literally, I've been taking care of this person for so long. He, I think my son was, like, two or something. And I'm like, I am just not okay right now, as y'all can see. And y'all are accusing me of abandoning, abandoning my child. And at the same time, trying to get me put away. Okay. I'm in, I'm in this alone. I'm really in this alone right now. So that was how I was feeling uh, for a long time. And uh, closer to the end of the year, or not even the end of the year, like probably months after that. Hold on. I thought that was recent. No, nah, it was 2019. You're not alone. That was in 2019. That's how I felt at the time. She's, he said, Demi Lovato says alien is offensive when referring to ETs. No, it's not. You can call a whole person an alien. That's crazy. Demi Lovato on some. Anyway. Um, he said, uh, what the F that's a BS. Yeah. And so 2019 was the worst year of my life. And so weeks later, um, I told, I confronted my ex and was like, tell me the truth. Like what's going on? And let me tell y'all what happened, bro. He started playing some music, right? And y'all know a lot of people communicate through music. That's why music is so important, especially lyrics. People communicate through music. When they can't speak themselves, they'll play a certain type of music. So he started playing um, Money in the Grave, right? And literally, Dre goes, I mean, where the fuck do I really even start? And he's singing the song, right? The next bar is, I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. And he didn't say it because if he would have said it, he would have told on himself. And I just, I just, I just sat there like... Oh, so you're not going to say that next bar? You're not going to say that next verse? You you want to say something? He just sat there. I'm like, why can't you just like be honest? Like, tell me what's going on. So time goes on and eventually things become like obvious. I'm like, okay, let me just, you know whatever so 2020 hits everybody's like locked down shut down all this stuff and he's in another place and so hold on let me read let me read this would you guys he said that's real goddess wow yeah yeah you know <coughs> so he low-key snitched on his yes he literally sat there and snitched on himself <laughs> cracking the fuck up he was a whapper <laughs> not a oh he was a rapper not a rapper <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, a rapper. And, and so, you know, then 2020 hits. Reality sets in for a lot of things and a lot of people and stuff. So, you know, we're like, you know, but you want to work this out? He's like, yeah, I'm going to work this out. And like, we're, you know, trying to get things started and blah, blah, blah. Next thing I know, 
his Facebook profile picture. Y'all know Facebook is different from other platforms, right? Facebook is like where everybody's at. On Instagram, you get fans. You do have some friends here. You have some family members sometimes and stuff. Twitter, it's random fucking people everywhere. TikTok, random people. YouTube, random people. But Facebook is where, like, people you know, they're on Facebook. Next thing I know, his Facebook profile picture is with him and his new girlfriend. I'm getting DMs. I'm getting calls. They're like, they're like, what happened? What happened? Like, where did you? I was like, last week he told me he wanted to work everything out. So, I don't know. <laughs> that was when my shadow work really like set in. Because I was like, oh, hell no. There's no going back from this. Because it's not about social media. I don't care about social media. Like you can post what you want to post on social media, but you made our private information public. That was the issue I had. He can clown on social media, you know, make crazy posts, like say funny shit, like even inappropriate shit. I wouldn't even have an issue with that. But he posted the bitch on his Facebook page and made her his profile picture and have me answering questions from his family members. I was like, no. Nope. So I was like, yeah, hurry up with them divorce papers. Hit me up. At first, I was like, I'm not paying for shit. But when he was playing, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, come on, come on. Because I'm here's the money. Since you want to play. So we didn't quite go half and half. But I gave a good amount to uh, finish the first payment for our divorce uh, paperwork, right? Hold up. And the fact he played that song, like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. He said, baby girl, I'm going to buy <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> he put the T. Uh, he put the T in T-Pain. Uh, that's effed up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's why we have to do shadow work. But I'm saying, like, okay. So, once that happened, I was like, yeah, there's no way I can fix this. We can't fix this relationship. You did too much. This is permanent damage. Like, we couldn't even keep that on the low. I'm like, listen. It's some shit you keep on the low when you're going through it. And his girlfriend can't. She can't wait. She couldn't wait until we got our stuff finished. And she pregnant now. So, she couldn't wait for us to get anything finished. She's like... Like, he told me that she basically is in competition with me and wants to be on my level. I'm like, bitch, you will never be on my level. You will never be on my level. <laughs> I do too much. You can have him. You can have him. He's not worth it. He's not. But she doesn't understand that still. She will still fight me over him. I'm like, okay. I'll fight you for disrespecting me. But I will not fight you for him. Cause I don't want him anymore. He's disgusting. Gross. And so, I had a great time. 2020 was the best year of my life, bro. That's why I like when everybody was tripping when 2020 hit. I was like, no, you can't tell me 2020. Listen, I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna tell you secrets, huh? I'm gonna tell you secrets. had like two dudes i'll see on a regular basis i'm gonna say it like that i'm gonna say it like that because fuck you mean you got me fucked up hold on <laughs> like you're not just gonna leave me publicly humiliate me and not expect me to have some fun at this point what do y'all mean no let me just say it like that i'm not gonna give y'all too many details but i had my fun but i was also doing shadow work so while i was having my fun i was like okay now I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. So I started like practicing celibacy. I did no nut November. I would tell my dudes, I'd be like, I can't see you this week. <laughs> can't see you this week. I would be like fasting, smoking weed and stuff. I'd be like, I'm not smoking this month, bro. They're like, why not? I'm like, can't do it. Nope. I would honestly I would vent to them about a lot of stuff. Like that's how it is a lot of times when you have like sneaky links and stuff, you just talk about exes and like past relationships and stuff. So that's just how it happens sometimes. I'm not saying it's healthy. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying that's what happened to me. It was part of my shadow work, it was part of my journey. I'm low-key afraid to read the comments. So I'm gonna just 
<laughs> I'm gonna just let those go. <laughs> so, uh, then I got to a certain point. I was like, okay, yeah, like I can't like continue like this. So, um, 2020 ended, and I was like, okay. Then I started my spiritual channel in January. Or I started posting on my spiritual channel in January. And once I started doing that and practicing celibacy more, I did a, a full celibacy journey for like uh, while I was vegan, right? I was on a vegan fast for the entire season of spring. So it was like three months, nine, 90 days. And so I'm celibate that whole time. And it was awesome. It was really great. And I was like, wow, I feel like I feel different. Like I felt like an entirely different person. And I was telling him no. Because the thing is, he would think that after all that bullshit, he could still get some. I'm like, you ain't finna get none. Like, hold up. I know my worth now. I've done my shadow work. You're not finna get any. No, thank you. Dirty dick ass. And so, when, here we are in 2021. Like, I don't even feel emotion. Like, when he came with the announcement that she was pregnant and stuff, I was like, oh, okay. It just bothers me that we're still married because, like, I'm finna be fucking rich. So you need to hurry up and get your priorities straight. Stop spending money. You know, I get it. You have to spend money on a baby. You have to spend money in different areas. But, like, hurry up and get this shit done. Because when I get rich, I don't need you suing me for trying to get, like, try to get my money and shit. Okay? So... That's all I care about. I don't even care. Like, have your baby. That's cool. Go ahead. That's fine. Not you. <laughs> and so, you know, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people, like, if people were in my reality, they'd be, like, pissed. They'd be like, oh, no, you're not finna have a baby on me. No, I'm finna fuck that bitch up. No, I ain't even on that time. Have a kid. Ha, ha, go ahead. Go on, go ahead. I don't even care. I don't even care because I've done my shadow work. Like, the way that I was treated in 2019, the way that you weren't there for me, the way that, you know, like I said, for a lot of people, you know, it'll be like, they'll be talking about their relationships and stuff and be like, oh, that's the most shadow work I have to do. No, the biggest issue I had was like with my with my mom. So a dude doing something to me, like, I get it. That hurts my feelings. But like a person who raised me, they were coming against me hard, too. And I, I couldn't understand that one. That that one hurt me deepest. And so my mom tried, started treating me better in 2020 as well. And so that was like a weird shift that happened. It was like, okay, now she's being awesome. So this is strange. So, you know, I now I my next journey of shadow work, I really have to um do more to really... <coughs> I guess learn about um, why my mom made certain decisions. And so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read y'all's comments now because I know y'all were saying some shit. <laughs> okay. All right. So Rashad is now Jamal Jacob. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I will stay with you for the rest of my life. He must have downgraded. I will show y'all the picture. Are you in the group chat? I'll show you the picture in the group chat. Um, because I'm gonna just say it like this. The God and Goddess that were in the group chat, they were like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> they were like, he tweaking. Go throw that in the trash, MJ. He said, Karma, dang Goddess. Eh, I know. I know. I know all the gods in here would die to be your twin flame shit. Ain't, ain't that right, fellas? Hell no. <laughs> Y'all so silly. Goddess, you came a long way. I value and respect you for real. Thank you. <laughs> you can see me though, baby girl. You crazy. <laughs> he says, see, I told oh my gosh. You start wilding out. Like low key. Uh simple. Yeah. Listen, we ain't judging. LOL. If she my girl, she be popping out 10 star C shit. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, no cap. You, they judging in their own, judging her in their minds. Oh, okay, okay. Probably. Hey, she did what she had to do. <laughs> uh, I be busting nut like, well, okay, okay. What? Hold, 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 what? Okay, like Lotus, if I was your husband, then do my shadow work. 
Well, I mean, if you're my husband, you don't have to do shadow work after doing all that. That's just part of being in a relationship. Um, uh, <laughs> don't worry about that, God. It's you on a whole new level. Respect. I appreciate that. You knew and improved. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And I look better, too. Listen, I'm cute now. I was, like, looking ugly, fugly, and depressed. Even though I wasn't, like, ugly. But, like, you could tell I was stressed out and there was something wrong with me. I cut my hair in 2020. Girl, look. I got a whole new type of sexy on me. I'm like, bro. Like, I need to pro- I, I didn't take that many pictures of myself when I was, like, fugly looking. And so... I wish I could so, show y'all the transformation, but y'all just see what I'm looking like now. Okay. Um. Hey Amen. You and you in love. This goddess on the low. In love with this goddess on the low. A lot of dudes like me. So it is what it is. He said, "God shooting this shot." <laughs> Maybe the world will never know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nigga in love with goddess boy. <laughs> peace god is where the guys at oh my gosh y'all funny he just doesn't know now that you found yourself you most definitely upgrade it yeah facts no mj stop stop doing that in my bed go do it in your bed i want to see this new chick that he downgraded on lmao i'm not gonna put her on live i'm not gonna do them like that but if you're in the group chat i'll show y'all later um okay that's it well peace y'all um i'm gonna get on live again and yeah chop it up with y'all see what y'all think about the story if you caught the live so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this save it to igtv and stuff and i'm gonna come back shalom peace